This is In-Depth. Going out for a Saturday night at the movies. My, have things changed in this year of COVID. And now it appears 2021 will be picking up where 2020 left off because of a decision by an iconic movie studio, Warner Brothers. And it could have a huge impact on those already struggling movie theaters nationwide. Joining me tonight is Jim Hunter, our movie expert and critic with the University of Southern Indiana. And Jim, good to see you as always. Warner Brothers and HBO Max, 17 films. Lay out how this may play out this year. Sure. Yeah. Well, it's good to be with you too, Brad. Good to, to see you again during uh, during this strange time. Um, usually, I try not to be terribly alarmist about uh, news out of Hollywood, but this is one of those times when it's probably right to be alarmist. Warner Brothers is has announced on Friday that it's sending its entire slate of 17 films to HBO Max as well as a concurrent release in theaters. This includes big movies like The Matrix 4, Dune, Godzilla vs. Kong, uh, In the Heights, a Lin-Manuel Miranda uh, film. So all of these films are going both to streaming and to the theaters on the same day. This violates a long-standing theatrical window, which is a period of exclusivity that gives theaters their value. You know, you pay the $8 to see the movie on a big screen, but you also pay the $8 or $10 or $12 or however much it is uh, because the theater is the only place where you can see that movie. Um, in 2021, that is no longer the case for Warner Brothers films. And streaming for millions of Americans has become the norm. HBO Max appears to be an obvious big winner in all this because many of the films that you uh, mentioned there have Blockbuster written all over them. Absolutely. And uh, HBO Max is now, it's, it's a $15 option. It is now a place where you are going to get to see some of the best, uh, some of the biggest films out there. Um, this is sort of a, a continuation of uh, some of the things that we've seen that studios doing, uh, some of the things that studios have done uh, in response to COVID-19. Universal was the first to release a film concurrently on streaming and theatrically with Trolls World, World Tour. AMC, the uh, the theater chain, was basically excoriated them for that, and now it looks like Warner uh, will be able to share some, will be able to get some revenue from these big movies through new subscriberships to HBO Max. There is no longer a free trial on HBO Max, uh, and that's that started right around the time of this an announcement. And, and uh, let's just talk about uh, making uh, movies. You know, the director in his chair. Uh, the camera operators, uh, the guy with the clipboard. How in the world do you do that in the conditions that we are operating under now? How has that had an impact on making movies? Uh, there's a lot of precautions that studios are taking. Um, you know, the the directors and um, some of the talent are, are and and some of the people behind the scenes are all wearing face shields and that kind of thing. Uh, everybody's getting tested before they get in. Um, however, there have been some uh, some things, some uh, instances where uh, COVID-19 has entered the uh, the work environment. Um, it was uh, broke the news broke uh, Aubrey Plaza uh, told uh, Stephen Colbert last night that Cr Kristen Stewart had COVID-19 while shooting their new movie so yeah it's it's a really uh, difficult thing to maintain a, a, a safe working environment for some of these studios yeah we're looking at video there uh, of Mank uh, the screenplay about the screenplay writer for Citizen uh, Kane and let's talk about briefly now the impact this is having on movie theaters what could happen next right so mank is one of those interesting films that netflix is releasing both on its streaming service and in select theaters um only those theaters that uh that will show netflix films so showplace east here um theaters are in massive trouble this is sort of a bye bye miss american pie kind of moment for for theaters. Revenue sharing is not going to work. 
because that's just propping up a business model that right now during COVID-19 is hemorrhaging money and they have no negotiating power with the studios. AMC has released a really uh, condemn, con condemning, condemnations of, of this plan from Warner Brothers, but once again, they are at, they are making buggy whips in a, in a world that's moving to cars. Um, and that's really sad for those of us who, who grew up on theaters, who grew up on the theatrical experience, and who really uh, cherish the, the theatrical experience. And it's now getting replaced with your home theater system. Yes, but it, it also gets you out of the house for a breath <laughs> of fresh air. Okay. Well, uh, Jim Hunter, thank you so much for joining us. We'll, we have much to talk about, and we'll continue the discussion in the future. Thank you again for joining us tonight. Have a safe holiday season. My pleasure, Brad, and you too. All right. Thank you.